Hey Raiders, we have a few quick announcements for you before the week ends. You've probably noticed banners hanging in the early college hallway. These contain our ECHS core values and we would like to discuss the first one and how we can practically demonstrate this characteristic. The core value for this week is responsible. We have one more week until the six weeks ends. Please spend the last week being responsible for getting your assignments done and studying so that your grades reflect your hard work ethic. And students, you are not alone in your responsibilities. Teachers will continue to demonstrate responsibility by putting in grades in a timely manner and honoring your hard work. Teachers also demonstrate this attribute by creating thoughtful and engaging lessons that encourage critical thinking. Mr. Mosley and I pledge to demonstrate responsibility by keeping you informed, supporting you in your classes, and working with your teachers to ensure your academic, social, and emotional development. One of the ways we can support you is by giving you tips such as this. You will have midterms in your college classes soon. Take a look at your syllabi and determine when your big tests are coming up. Plan out time to study for your tests and complete classwork. If you need help with a study schedule, I'd be happy to work with you on one. If you're unsure about due dates, upcoming assignments, or directions for an assignment, please check the syllabus. And if the syllabus doesn't answer your question and a friend cannot help, then email your TCC professor. That's one of the best ways to get the information and the help that you need. We know that dual credit is difficult. We know being a college student is a new experience. We know that you have a lot of responsibilities on your plate outside of school as well. However, we know that you wouldn't be here if you and your parents didn't believe in the possibilities of this program. Everything that is worthwhile is difficult to some degree. Push through the challenges and utilize your support systems. You've got a lot of people on your team and we are here for you. There are two more items that we'd like to go over before we conclude these announcements. The first is in regards to lunch. Off-campus lunch is a privilege. We want to treat you as a college student that you are and continue awarding you that privilege. But know that there are expectations that go along with it. We expect students to be in class on time immediately following lunch. Starting Monday, September 20th, if you are tardy to your third or seventh period class after coming back from lunch, you'll be assigned lunch detention on the following day. We want to honor the time of our teachers and professors, maximize our learning time, and respect the learning environment of our peers. We cannot do these things when we're tardy. Please demonstrate responsibility for coming back to campus on time after lunch. Your presence in class is critical to your success. Please contact us if you have any questions regarding this policy. Now we'd like to turn our attention to students who are demonstrating responsibility around the school. Lauren Butcher is killing it. She engages in lessons and directs conversations at her lab table. She helps her peers readily and willingly, often without being prompted and sometimes without recognition. Ms. Strahan. Ms. Hendricks Seligman told us about two different students who are demonstrating responsibility in her class. Uh, both Bodie Wong Davis and Ayanna McCurdy are always prepared and they both contribute to class discussions in meaningful ways. They help their classmates as needed. Judy Gamire shares her thought process with her classmates confidently and she works well with her peers. She's voted for by Ms. Barks. ECHS Raiders, stay tuned for more updates from our office. Uh, we look forward to seeing you in the classes and in the hallways. Go Raiders, we'll see you soon.